Hi everybody. Welcome to the Colors of Beauty by Elle. I'm Isabel. Welcome back. And welcome all my new subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and click that button. And uh, you'll make me very happy. <laughs> um, so I am doing another car vlog today. I haven't done a car vlog in a long time. Um, so I thought I'd do one today because I'm on my way to pick up my daughter and my youngest daughter and we are going to the Cardinals Stadium, Arizona Cardinals Stadium and not to watch football game <laughs> but we are going to um, go see my grandson, my oldest grandson who is um, 18 years old he just turned 18 he is graduating from high school I am so proud of him I'm so proud of that kid I just you know all those memories keep coming back you know those when you think because I was in the room when he was born um, my oldest daughter uh, had him when she was uh, 17 and I was in the room when she, you know, with her coaching her, and, uh, oh, he is, he is such a light in my life. Um, the very first time I saw this little boy, I was just crying, and he is so beautiful, his personality, his everything about this child is beautiful not only is he handsome on the outside he's so handsome um, he's so beautiful in inside um, he he's always wanted since he was a little kid little little boy he's always wanted to be he's always wanted to be in the, in the army or in the service or whatnot so, he is um, off to the Marines. Um, he's graduating today from high school, and then in a month, next month, he's going to be going to boot camp for the Marines. And I have very mixed feelings about that, but he came to me and he asked me to give him my blessing. I'm gonna tear up. I'm, I can't because I'm driving. But he asked me to give him my his my my blessing for him to go, and I said, well, of course, you know. Um, he, you know, he, I want him to do what he feels he needs to do in his life to fulfill himself. I know more than anyone how hard it is as a parent. I am, uh, my son, of course, I don't know if you heard me say this, but my son went off, he was in the army, and he uh, was, he fought, uh, he was, uh, he did three tours in Iraq, um, and that was the hardest thing in my life that I have ever, ever, ever had to go through, ever. So, I have to be strong for my daughter because she's feeling the same things that I I did so I'm just envel enveloping myself around her and uh, letting her know you know how to get by and the main thing for me that kept me going was prayer prayer was is everything if you have that connection with God and you and you know that if that he's got your back and he's got your child's back and you know you feel so much better knowing that if something did happen God forbid that it was out of your control and God has it you know but I'm so proud of this child. He's, he's a good kid. 
He's a very good boy. Um, so he did, he, he signed up for four years for in the Marines. And so my son has been giving him tips, you know, on, you know, boot camp and when he's there and things like that. <laughs> so that's good. It's good to know because I have a, my family has a history of service. Um, see, I had an uncle who was in the army. Um, my, uh, my brother is a retired Air Force. He was, he went to Vietnam and fought in Vietnam. And God bless my big, my big brother. He has really severe PTSD from it, from the helicopters and, you know, things like that. So it was, it's been so hard for him. Um, my, uh, my son, of course, my brother-in-law, my sister-in-law, uh, and my other brother-in-law. I mean, they were all in different branches of of uh, the military. So it's been, you know, it's it's hard, but it's rewarding too. It's rewarding. So that we're gonna, you know, we're all planning to go to. Um, we're all planning to go to um, out of state when he graduates from boot camp. We're all gonna go there, and I'm so excited! <laughs> I'm so happy. And uh, oh, I got some hair in my eyes. Ugh. So I have this dress on, and I bought this dress probably policeman at the road. I'm gonna slow it down. I bought this dress a while, like maybe a few months ago, and uh, and then I started running. You know, um, I want to do a marathon. I, I'm, I'm, I want to be. I'm training to do my first marathon. It's just a half a marathon, you know, just a like small 5K, but you know, I'm 50 four years old and so I've never done a marathon before so I'm trying and uh, so I'm not doing too bad but anyways back to the dress I've been um, so I lost weight I lost some inches and it fits me kind of, it fits me big now <laughs> so I tried I tried this on I was like oh, holy cow so I'm like putting a belt on and uh, trying to see how it, you know, looks. I'm excited that I'm that I'm losing inches, though. Um, so that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, anyways, but then and then I discovered that when I'm when I'm um, running, I the last time when was the the last time. No, yesterday, because I ran today this morning. I got up real early to run because Iris goes with me, and I don't want her to get overheated. So she's my running partner. So when I was running yesterday, my I, my shoulders, I my shoulders got burnt, um, and I was like, "What?" You know, because I'm pretty tan anyways. So uh, with with the sun in Arizona, it's really really harsh. I should have known better to put sunscreen on, and I did not. And I, my son, my my shoulders burn. So today, when I ran, I put some sunscreen on, so it's not listen to that. <laughs> well, at all. So, and it is cloudy outside, and just just because it's cloudy outside doesn't mean you don't burn, because that UV, um, you know, does go through the clouds, and that's what burns you, right? ultraviolet so you need to get that sunscreen on your body not just on your face um, and I did buy new tennis shoes for running so I'm really excited about that because um, you know I went to this place called uh, Road Runners um, again, it's a play on words you know Road Runners and my brother is, oh my God, he is a marathon.
marathon runner. He runs, and he's what? Let me see, 50, uh, 4, a 5. Wait, how old is he? He's 54, 5, 6, 7. He's 58 years old. My brother, my, my oldest brother, my youngest, the youngest of my brothers is 58. And um, he is a lean machine, running bean. I'm telling you guys, this guy can run circles around anyone. He He's run so many marathons. Um, and he goes to this place called Road Runners. And so he's like a VIP there, you know, because he's always buying gear and stuff. Um, and so I got a discount through him. <laughs> Because he's, he's, they're like, I tell them, well, my brother comes here a lot, so they gave me a big discount on my tennis shoes. So, I was excited about that, because my tennis shoes were like, um, because they, cu they custom made the insoles, you know, and then they, they, they custom make your, um, they fit your sh foot to the shoe, you know, and so it's, which I, I need because I have plantar fasciitis and the shoes and the, the tennis shoes that I got are from, um, uh, what is that? New Balance? Yeah. And then they have the inserts and they hug my feet really good. But the last time I bought shoes, they wanted to put me in a size seven. I don't wear a size seven. And they're all like, well, you know, and it was my first time there not this time but I've gone there like a couple years back and they're like okay you you know you need to be in a seven I don't wear a seven um so I was like okay you know I didn't know any better wrong 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 I wore those things for I was for at least three years and they were so big on me I would even like trip on them sometimes because they were so long at the toe and so this time they were like you know telling me okay well you wear a seven i go no i don't wear a seven i says i need the six because they were real big you know because i'm i'm a small i'm a small lady you know and uh i i my feet i got real small feet for a woman or maybe average i don't know um so I wore like was like a set like so I got a six and then they're like well you know your feet are going to swell when you run and that is true your feet do swell um, so I was like okay the, the the I'll get a six and a half and so the six and a half fit me perfect and I was I'm so happy with them I love them they they're like so light they feel like air and uh, they're they're fantastic on my feet when I'm running. You know, and I don't, I'm, I'm a slow runner though. I don't really run, 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 like fast. Like I don't do sprints. I just take my time, you know. Um, and so I'm trying to, I'm doing it so slow. I'm like the turtle person of the hare and the tortoise. I'm the tortoise. I, I'm doing it so slow, so, 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 so slow. You know, I'm going at it really very slow so I'm just trying to work my way up to it you know work in to run right now I'm running probably a little bit over I'm running over a mile and a half now without stopping um, you know and then uh, my goal is to run two miles without stopping and then I'll, I'll, you know, do that for probably a long time, <laughs> you know, month or so run. And then I'll increase it because I think you're supposed to increase your, your distance about 10. Every time you increase it, you're supposed to increase it by 10%. Otherwise, you know, you get injured. Um, so I'm trying to do it that way. So someday, someday I'm going to... Do a 5k <laughs> marathon before it's in my it's on my bucket list. Yeah, but I don't think I want to run with my brother because 
for a couple of reasons. Number one is he runs a hell of a lot faster than I do. And his run, even his jogging is faster than my running. You know? So I don't, I know him, you know, I'm his baby sister. He's, you know, and I know him. He'd probably wait for me. You know, he'll, he'd walk with me while I run. <laughs> and I don't want him to do that. You know, I don't want him to do that. So I don't think I'm going to tell him when I do it. And I'll just surprise him. And I'll say, look. And he'll go, why didn't you tell me? I would have gone done it with you. I go, no, I don't think so, Fred. But <laughs> his name's not Fred, but. <laughs> Anyways. So now that's going on. I'm, I've been buying some clo new clothes, you know, um, from New York and Company. I love 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 that store um it fits me it's hard to find clothes that fit me because i'm um you know i don't know I, i'm shaped like i don't know if i'm well i was shaped like an apple but now because i'm running i'm not shaped i'm not apple shaped anymore i'm more of a pear shape now I think but but anyways I'm, I'm trying to um, I've been buying myself some clothes instead of makeup you know I'll probably buy like maybe one or two items if I need it like some hair stuff because I really like the verb V-E-R-B verb I get that at um Sephora, I love that stuff. And all their products are only $14. $14 for their products. I have hair in my mouth. And, uh, so I've been really needing some of that. And I also got some other stuff from my hairdresser. Um, I go to this place called Rolf's, um, Rolf's Salon in, um, here in Arizona, he, and, uh, I love that place. So I have a, uh, I have a, a, a colorist who does my, who colors my hair. And then I, and then when I'm done with her, I have a, um, a stylist who cuts my hair. So after I'm done with my colorist, then I go to the other chair for my stylist. <laughs> so, just nice. It's nice to pamper yourself sometimes, you know. You need to. Because you have to be the princess you are. Pamper yourself. <laughs> uh, so my husband and I were thinking about going. You know, we always take our vacations, like our trips in the off season because it gets kind of expensive, you know, to do trips during vacation season when everybody else is in the summer or the spring or whatnot. We always go in the of winter so we were thinking I'm going to um, we're, we're, we've been looking at going to Poland um, Budapest uh, so that'll be interesting I don't know if we're gonna go or not for sure but we're looking into it um, if we go we'll probably go with his aunt and one of her um, friends and uh, it, it's, you know, be a, a fun time. Uh, a year or two ago, we went, was it a year ago already? Was it last year? Oh my gosh, yeah, last year I think it was. We went to Vienna, which was fab. I loved it. It was so fun. Oh my God, we had so much fun. So we're going to, we're going to try to go to Poland. We went 
went to Austria, we um, we went in the regular seats there. That was really harsh. <laughs> Sit there for like a long, long time. <laughs> uh, and but on the way home, we got first class, so we paid for enough for you know to be in first class, and that was like oh. That was that was amazing. I liked it. Um, so that was fun. They feed you a lot in first class. Holy cow! Anything you want. Of course, you pay a pretty penny for it, though. You know, but if you you know save your money and you for just that. And plus, my husband and I we don't have kids in the house anymore. You know, we're gonna be re he's gonna be retiring in like. I don't know, 12 years, 11 years or something from what he does. And it's, it's kind of nice for it to be just me and him right now, you know. I, I had all my kids when I was young, of course. You guys all know that, I think. But you are right there, Iris? Are you okay? What's going on? What's the matter, Bumas? What matter, Mama? <laughs> Do you see her back there? She's all like fidgety. It's alright, honey. It's okay, mommy. I'm gonna open the door, the window. I'll open the window for you a little bit. Okay, but not too much. Let me get over here so that I can see what I'm doing. Not too much because I don't want to do jumping out. My fear is that I'm going to open this thing too much and then she's going to like fall out. That's my fear. You know? I get really scared when she... Yeah. Uh...